Hello and welcome back. The first step in making our mini console 3D printer is to make our six diagonal arms. In order to make these six diagonal arms, we'll need six pieces of carbon fiber tubing 180 millimeters long, 12 M4 pieces of all thread 20 millimeters long, a bag of these Traxxas 5347 ball joints and sockets, which should contain 12 of each at least, some epoxy, a pair of pliers, and an M4 tap. Our first step in building the diagonal rods is going to be to thread these little ends for the ball joints here. We're going to use our 4 millimeter thread tap to do that. And what we do is just stick it in there as straight as we can. And I like to keep the tap still and, and spin the actual uh, ball joint end. And I just keep wiggling it, make sure it's on there straight so that the thread's straight. And once it's in there, you'll start to feel a little resistance it's at cutting the threads. Wiggle it back and forth once you know you got it straight on there. And in this way, you're actually tapping the end for the threads for our little 20 millimeter ends there. You're going to do that with all 12 of these plastic ends. When you get it threaded enough, you'll actually feel the tap hit the end of the hole. And uh, we've done it right. Pretty much all of them are going to go about halfway in. So you'll see there. That's one that's been finished. And uh, once we're done, we'll actually glue those in. Now we've got our little ball joint ends threaded out. We're going to go ahead and glue in this piece of all thread here. I went ahead and mixed up a little bit of epoxy. We just dip the end in there. Let's see, it has a little glob on it. Then we're going to go ahead and screw that on there. And screw it all the way in. Since it's all the way screwed in, we're going to wipe off any excess. And let it set. And we're going to repeat that for all 12 of these. Last step in assembling the diagonal arms is to take our end pieces, put some glue on the end, and insert them into the rod, removing any extra glue. Once you've done that on both ends, at that point, insert the diagonal rod onto your jig to ensure that everything dries straight and that all of the rods are the same length. We will repeat this with all six rods. Now that all six of the diagonal rods are glued and in the jig, I reattached the back side of the jig. That verifies that the distance from this dowel to this dowel is 215 millimeters, not only in the front, but all the way across, and that these two are parallel. This ensures that all of our diagonal rods are the same length and orientation. Now, while these set, I can go ahead and start putting the frame together.